Hi, this is Yolanda from VanVeenBulbs.com. And in this segment, we're going to talk about how to divide canna lilies. Now, canna lilies are a beautiful addition to the garden. They love full, hot sun, and they have all different types of foliage and beautiful blooms that are striped and red and yellow and every color in the sunset. They're a beautiful plant. I love them in the garden, but they do multiply. And before long, you have a really big clump. And whether you live in a cold climate where you have to divide them out or dig them up every fall and storm in the winter, or you live in a milder climate where you can leave them in the ground all year round, they do multiply. And over the years, you're, they're going to get crowded and you're going to want to divide them. So the rule of thumb is I don't divide when they're blooming if I have a choice because if you cut them down or divide them when they're blooming, a lot of times you lose the blooms. So early spring, middle of winter, fall is always the best time to divide. But even if you get to it when they're blooming, because there's no other time, then do it then. The first thing I like to do is cut off the greens if they look a little bit ratty. If the greens still look good, then you can try to leave them on there. But a lot of times, just by cutting it down, you encourage new growth. And cannas love new growth. They will just take over. So it's always easiest to cut all the greens off first. So they really multiply. This one is just not going to come out very easily. So I can't pull it right out. It's just a mass of roots. I already know it. So I'm just going to dump it. And when I do dump it, as you can see, it's just a mass of roots. It's really taken over the pot. It loved it right there in the pot. So I just break it up. So all the dirt that's mounted on there, I just kind of separate it out. Separate it out and separate it out. And it's always good too when I'm separating to add some more dirt to my current flower beds. And then as you notice, they're starting to come apart. And so when you're separating them out, as long as there's a stem and part of the bulb, it will keep growing. So even if it's a small piece, you can just break it right off. See how these are just coming right apart. This is a much larger clump. It doesn't want to separate that easy. So the key is just shake all the dirt. Just shake, 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 shake that dirt. And then try not to make too much of a mess at the same time. So I just try to separate it out. And sometimes you just have to take a shovel and hack it down the middle or a power tool, any way that you can separate it out. So the trick is try to get all the dirt off of it. It just makes it easier to work with. And it'll stimulate the roots to grow again when you plant it again. So you can trim off the roots or you can leave them the same, it doesn't matter. But I basically just break it apart, just break it in two. So wherever there's a stem and there's a bulb, you can divide it. So as soon as I divide it back out, I plant it again. And I found cannas love to be crowded. So you could break them into tiny little pieces, but in the end, it's better to leave a good sized clump because in the end, that good sized clump will really multiply and do well. And it'll look much better than a wimpy little clump and divide them out any time of the year, but importantly, plant them back in the ground or a container right away. You can store them in peat moss or in paper bag or write in newspaper, but bulbs like to be in the ground at least in warmer climates year round.